Hey, good people of faith. In today's video clip, the lies of Satan versus the truth of Jesus Christ. Which side are you cheering for? As we always like to remind you, Jesus Christ told us he is the truth. Why is this basic fact so important for the church? Just as a lie is the opposite of truth, so is darkness the opposite of light, which Jesus Christ also said he is. When Lucifer rebelled against our Heavenly Father, his own corruption that he allowed to grow inside himself led to the spiritual light within him to go dim and then to go completely out. Once that light was gone, so truth was gone. Darkness and deception go together because they are the opposite of the kingdom of heaven, which is made up of brilliantly beautiful lights of the entire color spectrum. In order to understand the success of the massive lies corrupting the minds of people everywhere today, let's quickly touch on the Garden of Eden. In previous videos, we explained that Eden was a testing ground to see if man could overcome what Lucifer, now Satan, could not. Pride and ego. We were created as lesser than angels because God wanted to test us before promoting us to become greater than angels. All Adam and Eve had to do was remain humble, stick to God's plan as specified in one simple law, and bam! Satan would have been defeated without the need for Jesus to later be nailed to the cross and for all of us to continually suffer in the turmoil of the resulting darkness, that void mentioned in Genesis chapter 1. But nope! Satan knew not to tempt Adam first because God directly told Adam the simple truth of his law, no eating of the forbidden tree. But what was it about Eve that made Satan confident he could get to her? For starters, she technically didn't hear about the forbidden fruit law from God, but indirectly from Adam. How do we know this? Because God commanded Adam about this law before he created Eve from Adam's rib. Let's look at Genesis chapter 2, verse 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Now keep in mind, this is verses 16 and 17. But Eve was not created until verse 21. Thus, we can conclude Adam must have told Eve about the law. This fact becomes important because we can safely assume that when Satan came along to tempt Eve, he relied on Eve to downplay the law because Adam was not a god, but was human like her. What does Adam know? She probably thought to herself. She was able to tell the serpent that God forbid them from eating up that one tree, but Satan pressed her further, appealing to her ego, just like he appealed to his own ego back in his heaven days. And just like a lot of women today, when Satan told her she can be a goddess, seeing all kinds of fantastic magical things beyond her imagination, she succumbed to her ego. I am a goddess, she probably told herself, I'm a diva, a queen, I am all-knowing. Surely Adam will benefit from this feeling I feel right now, and he too can become a god. And we know the rest of this story. But why? Why was Satan so anxious to have this victory? Because if truth prevailed, if Adam and Eve believed the truth that they would surely die if they eat of that forbidden tree, then they would have defeated Satan and his devils. They would have right then and there been sent to eternal punishment. So literally, the eternity of damnation hung in the balance for Satan. His back was against the wall. The same is true today. None of the governments of the world can rely on truth in order for Satan's kingdom to be a winner. They cannot serve truth and lies at the same time time. Just like Jesus Christ told us, we cannot serve both God and money. We have to choose. If we all decided to reject lies, Satan would lose. But as it is, 
the United Kingdom of Darkness is spreading and deception is everywhere for this reason. And as we see with this current beast juice mandate, where some countries are requiring it to be in your body in order to buy food and gas, the world has to believe the lies about their own God-created immunity in order for the first stages of the mark of the beast to spread. Are we all like Eve, thinking we know more than God, yet succumbing to the lies of Satan? We can't criticize Eve if we believe the lies of Satan as they are being spread in the mainstream media. Pray for wisdom and the love of truth, my friends. And remember, this is the reason for the season is Jesus Christ. That's why we celebrate Christmas. Remember that. No happy holidays. Let's continue to expose the lies of this world and spread the gospel. In Jesus' name, amen.